Right now, though, let's talk about what happened on the BBC. On the night, on uh, Sunday night, when Boris Johnson uh, announced that he was no longer going to put his name forward for the Tory leadership, uh, that news came out just around 9 o'clock. Well, at about 10.30 on the BBC, an hour and a half later, BBC presenter Martine Croxall was hosting uh, their paper review show. And this is what she had to say. Well, this is all very exciting, isn't it? Hello and welcome to our look ahead to what the papers will be bringing us tomorrow. Am I allowed to be this gleeful? Well, I am. Well, she was very excitable. It was very interesting news, was it not? But gleeful, was that the right word? Well, after a string of complaints to the BBC, understandably, I think, for that quite clearly politically biased comment by a uh, presenter on the BBC, she has been taken off air for an undefined period. Uh, and the corporations say they're examining the comments for any breach of its strict impartiality guidelines. A spokesman saying, BBC News is urgently reviewing last night's edition of the papers on the news channel for a potential breach of impartiality. It is imperative that we maintain the highest editorial standards. Well, clearly they were not uh, held, were they? Let's talk to John Mayer now. He's a former BBC producer. He's also author of several books about the BBC, including Is the BBC in Peril? Um, John Mayer, I mean, looks like the BBC is in peril, isn't it? If they can't even stop their supposedly unbiased politically neutral presenters from talking about being gleeful about a former Tory Prime Minister not being able to have a chance to be Prime Minister again. Look, I don't know. Look, we, we, live, we live in crazy times. There's a revolving door at number 10 today. But auntie just needs to relax a little bit, you know? It, it, it doesn't need to slap people on the wrist publicly all the time. Emily, mate, listen to her. You know, well, presenters are people. You know that. You you have your views. You, you're you not shy and bring them no, forward. No, uh, no, 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 no. John, that's my job. I am paid to give my views on air. Part of your contract on the BBC states that you must abide by BBC uh, political impartiality rules. This is breach of contract. Of course she had to be taken off air. You can't have a neutral BBC news presenter be gleeful in her own words uh, about, about, uh, about what's happening in the Tory leadership contest when her job is to be politically neutral when she's paid by the British taxpayer. Do you want do you want them to be eunuchs? Do you want them not to have views? Do you want No, I, mean, I want them not to express views, which is well, what they well, are which is what they are contractually so provided. So would, would you also would you take Tom Bradby off, off News at ten? Would you would you have taken John Snow off off, off Channel 4 News. OK, news, okay John, well, Emily Maitlis should always have been taken off air for some of the things that she said, which were outrageous. Um, right. John Snow, Channel 4, um, big question marks. I think they lost a lot of credibility when he said the F word about the Tories and the like, or off air, though. Mm -hmm. um, and Tom Bradby, again, ITV. I don't pay for ITV. I'm not, I'm not, I don't face a jail sentence for not paying a fine, for not it, paying the it, BBC licence fee, um, for... For, Bradby, um, for ITV. Same off the rules as you are, you know. Talk, no, talk, talk, no, but... Bradby. But he, it's not the BBC. The BBC is there, provided and paid for by effectively a tax, which is what the licence fee is. It's a tax on anyone with a television. You pay that, and in return yeah. for which, they are they are committed to themselves. It's not our idea. They are committed to themselves to being politically neutral. And if a member of staff isn't politically neutral, they can't be on air. I'm afraid I don't agree. I think, you know, auntie just needs to relax, let her skirt down a little bit more. You know, this was a, a newspaper review section of the programme. This wasn't hard news, you know. She, she's not she's not saying Boris Johnson has pulled out of the uh, of the race. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, that's, as, virtually, as that's virtually what she said. She used the word <laughs> gleefully. Gleeful. Gleeful. Right. You know, we're live broadcasting. People make mistakes. You know, she, 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 she made a slip up. She wasn't, doesn't deserve to be No, she questioned right? it herself. She said, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this no well she she did know she wasn't allowed to say it because if she'd read her contract it would yeah. say that she was not allowed to express an opinion the people the people who are who are the guests and i've done that slot on the bbc the people who are the guests they give their views the yeah. presenter doesn't it's a different format but i mean you, you want to put them in a total straight jacket you want, you want yes to be, you want that's to be the contract next, they've you know? signed well you know you next you know just because you pay a small license fee every year you know doesn't mean 50 odd right. quid which is not a lot of money. I mean, you know. Well, maybe to you, for a lot of people, it's a lot. It's a lot of money. You know, compared to the streamers, you know, no, no, it's not. Come on, you know, relax about these things. You know, present. No, but, but no, but the key thing is, it's only ever one point of view, isn't it? It's a, it's a anti-Tory, anti-Brexit. There, there are lots of Tory presenters in the BBC. I, I've met quite a few. You know, I, I don't think yeah. I don't think they ever give uh, their views on air. Uh, is, is Andrew Neil? Uh, Andrew Neil doesn't work at the BBC for a very good well, reason. He, he, he used to. He I, used to work. With, but he never he gave his political work. views. I, I, never I, I, once. I a lot of BBC presenters become Tory MPs afterwards. Do, do they not? 
you know, afterwards. It doesn't. Uh, I don't uh, care if everyone has any. People can have any view they want, but they're not allowed to give it on air. The word gleeful is, you know, just just a gentle word. I mean, you know, poor woman, she slipped up, but she doesn't deserve to right. kick into the corner. No, I don't want her to lose her job, but there needs to be a clear message sent. But look, no. BBC Thought Police should have had a quiet word with her in a quiet corner, you know, rather than giving in to social media, which is their trouble. They they t they tend to only, I, you know. I agree with. I look. I don't want cancel culture. I don't want censorship. I don't want people giving in to to, to social media. However, it's it's in her contract. Her work contract tells her she can't do that. John it's always good to talk to you. Thank you so much. Uh, a former BBC producer as well, author of Is the BBC in Peril? Uh, Mike Graham is here. I know you take a, a similar view to me. I mean, well, it's just outrageous what exactly she right. said. And the people who say, oh, she wasn't doing that because she was bar, she was just excited. Absolute nonsense, because the later clip shows her laughing and giggling when somebody's saying, oh, Boris Johnson probably wanted to be king of the world. He probably wants to run America. He probably, you know, and she's giggling away. I think you can saying, giggle at that. But no, but, but, no, but she's giggling and then saying, oh, I've yeah. probably broached, uh, yeah. breached some kind of impartiality. Well, she's also got four she interviewed George Galloway once for the Batley and Spend by-election, uh, at which point she asked him why he was standing, because didn't he know he was going to split the Labour vote and it might let the Tories in? And he's going, uh... you know, and you might not like George Galloway, but he's saying, are you asking everybody this question yeah. or is it just me? Is this a Labour Party political broadcast? This is, this is really basic stuff. We're paying yeah. for it, isn't it?